I met Steve almost four years ago. He came into my office, he was really sick. The journey since then has been so inspiring. He and my wife both were receiving treatments. We got very, very close under difficult circumstances. The only person who's known Steve longer than I have is our mother. Steve is my big brother. I'm the youngest and the most handsome of the four brothers. I am uh, one of Steve's younger brothers, the, the better looking one. I admire Steve so much, first and foremost, because he is a sexy beast but also because he is my hero. When people get sick, all sorts of spectacular narratives all of a sudden arise. We don't need that with Steve. He's as remarkable as he has always been, and if it can be, even in higher doses. He's very bright, he's very smart, he's very warm as well. He has the brains of a researcher, the heart of a rabbi, and the humor of a stand-up comedian, much funnier than his brother Dave. Is this really all about Steve? Do you want to hear about any of us, what we've done, or anything? But more importantly, he has faced his illness with grace, grit, and yes, even gratitude for everyone around him. None of us choose the battles that we're forced to endure, but Stephen's uniquely equipped to be a partner in his own care because the very nature of the disease is its complexity, is its impossibility. He loves bringing some order to that chaos. He tells me about new treatments before I have even had a chance to hear about them. And I think what that's ended up powering is how solutions could come to other patients. The willingness for him to try new things and to basically you know, make himself as, as a research subject. So basically he's not fighting just for himself, but he's fighting for everyone with pancreatic cancer. We're both bracket positive. He's also given me suggestions about places that I can go to find out more. And he's built this sense of community, all while he's going through the worst fight. Steve has thrown himself into this fight. He's a fighter. Steve is the embodiment of a true fighter. He's tremendously resilient. He keeps going. He has not given up. He's got tremendous determination and tremendous grit. I think it's a superb quality. Anyone that has been touched by cancer comes to learn very quickly that this is a team sport and where we would be without our friends and supporters at Let's Win, Allison Ocean, she has become a sister to us. We wouldn't be here four years later honoring Steve, being with Steve, without Let's Win. And Let's Win wouldn't be as strong as it is continuing Ann's work without Steve. He's like just the glue that keeps all of us together and he's just loving and dedicated to his friends. Steve, congratulations for this wonderful honor. I can think of no one more deserving or no one more inspiring than you. I want to congratulate Steve on being honored, being a role model. On behalf of everybody at the PFAG, we really, really love Steve. What Steve's taught me is really at any point in your life you have the opportunity to move mountains. Rather than to close in, you can persist. For the entire time that we've all been in this family, we've been the four price books. Steve's gonna win this. He wins just by living every day.